afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. Gun owners are buying assault rifles at a record pace because of fears they'll be banned next year. Now, a local gun shop known for a controversial coyote hunt is doing something else unusual to try to solve their inventory problems. News 13 Selena Westervelt is in the newsplex with the story. Kim Gunhawks, the shop in Los Lunas, is willing to pay top dollar for high powered assault rifles. Now, most places are launching gun buybacks to take weapons off the streets, but Gunhawks wants to turn around and sell them to customers, and customers seem interested. Demand for high powered assault rifles is through the roof. It's overwhelming, is what it is. Following the devastating school shooting in Newtown, Connecticut, Congress could consider a possible ban on high powered assault rifles like these. And. <laughs> High capacity magazines like this. So customers are scrambling to buy them while they can. A similar gun ban was in place from 1994 to 2004. But Gunhawk employee Josh Waters says this time demands are different. There wasn't this many gun owners, there wasn't this many assault rifles out. Uh, so it's, it's been amazing. It's been crazy. Gunhawk is closed for the next few days. They're remodeling, upgrading their system, and waiting for national distributors to restock their inventory. But even those orders aren't being filled. There's nothing left at the suppliers. Most na national distributors are, are dry. Companies have also stopped taking back orders and canceled online sales. So Gunhawk decided to do this. An ad on their Facebook page shows they'll pay for new or used assault weapons and ammunition. We'll buy guns at any time, and we've always had that policy. We buy used guns, especially at this point. If you've got something that you want to get rid of, we'll buy it. Anyone selling a gun will have to submit to the same type of background check as someone who wants to buy one. The guns are also run through a database to make sure they're not stolen. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Selena. Now the store hopes for a big response when they reopen on Thursday morning. Lawmakers are close to a deal to avoid.